Hi everyone, it, it's getting a little bit worrying, isn't it? We've lost three on the bounce. We certainly don't want to lose four on the bounce, but was Jane right on Saturday? I'm pleased with what I've seen today and we're not going to win every week and this is a young group of players that are just coming together. We are getting better week on week. We were better than we were at Millwall and at Millwall we were better than they were at Rotherham, so it'll come guys, it'll come. Are they going to improve? Well, we're going to find out at Sunderland. Let's just have a look where Sunderland are in the table. Sunderland are currently 8th in the league. They've played 11 games. They have got 16 points. They've won 4, drawn 4, lost 3. They've scored 16 and conceded 11. They lost 1-0 at home to Norwich. Then they beat Rotherham 3-0. Then they lost away at Middlesbrough 1-0. Then they beat Reading 3-0 away. They drew to all with Watford and they drew nil-nil with Preston on Saturday. Looking at where we are now, we're still 19th, played 11, still got 11 points. We've won three, drawn two, and lost six. We scored 10, conceded 16, so we've got a goal difference of minus six. And just to remind everyone, we lost at home to Blackburn Rovers. We won away at Huddersfield. We lost 3-0 against Rotherham, 2-1 against Millwall, and we lost 1-0 at home against Norwich. So we really do need to turn this round. Can we get a result there? I don't know. Jane and I are going down courtesy of Fritis Clada. We're going corporate, so we won't see you there if you're there. But uh, if you are going, enjoy the game. Hope it's a great game. Hope Blackpool can just get some points. So... Let's get off to Sunderland. Uh, we're making a slight detour. We're going to the Penshaw Monument. We are, yes. Both will be out in four minutes. It's one of the wonders of the world, I believe. Is it? Or something like that. One of the seven in one line. One, one of the seven wonders. Exit of, left. Durham. It's go time. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'll walk up to this, folks. And I'll tell you what an amazing thing this is. Oh, it's absolutely huge. Look at chain there, it's so small. What an amazing thing this is. Weather with us, aren't we? It's actually on the Sunderland uh, badge as well. I, I've never even heard of it, but uh, it's nearly 200 years old. 200 years old. It looks like something from you know, it looks like something from Greece and far yeah, away. It's based on that. Yeah. Uh, we're heading across a nice bridge here. Lee likes bridges, don't you? Oh, I do like bridges. Stunning sky this is here. An as awesome well. bridge. Look at that. Yeah. I think this is Bob Stoko. Yes, it certainly is, isn't it? It's not the most popular Blackpool manager ever. <laughs> so it's obviously a bit more popular here. We're a legend at Sunderland, yeah. Yes. 2004. Wow. That's a great it's statue. Bone, that's amazing. That's an amazing photo. That's an amazing statue. Oh, so he was the manager who won the... Yeah, he won the FA Cup, Cup yeah. He won in the 1973 FA Cup final against Leeds United. And of steel. How unusual is that? Pretty impressive, if I do say so. Right, let's have a look in the club store. Right, the latest shirts. The kid is a mad Sunderland fan. Mm -hmm. Look at that one, mate. Yeah. We got a picture as well of this. Yeah, yeah. 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 Chose the wrong club. No, well, that's... I think so. Have you? So we're going in the main entrance. It's gone, but we were good. <laughs> going into hospitality. Well, we'll, we'll give us the cards to get in with. Hi, me. Love you, thank you. Thank you. So, how long have you had a box? Oh, this one. Four years, I think. Four years, wow. Previously, we were down the end with a sort of shared yeah. box. It's the original mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, another flight. Another one. Gosh, we've done some oh, steps today. We have. Which is one you know, the lady Jill who does our box is completely bonkers. Oh, she will be shocked, yeah. Oh, okay. And I mean completely bonkers. Completely bonkers. I'll have to get her on. You don't need to use the offender because she's, she's a character. No. We've seen it all from yeah, Blackpool. Oh. 
Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Oh, I oh. <laughs> Big moment here. Yeah. Uh, it's not working, right, am I? Two years later. Nah. Do you want to try this? Ah, uh, fails. Nah. No, we don't play very well. Nah, no. Nah. 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 Uh, yeah. Right, so it's yeah. about to come out. Gonna look out and see. Sunderland, Blackpool cannot clear the lines, they cannot get rid of it. Maxwell's just pulled off a wonder save there. Here they come again, bloody hell. Chance here, surely. Oh, well played, Still coming out. 43 minutes gone, and giving away a free kick in the most dangerous of areas. I don't know, but can we hold this? It's in the perfect place, isn't it? ball away all the time, it's like the whole fucking game. Should have scored. Oh, chance again. What? Oh, time. Oh, time. It's been a... It's been a... It's been hard off, that. Really hard off. We are guessing for it, it's Claudia in a, a corporate box, right on the halfway line, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, Blackpool have been, it's been a hard watch, hasn't it's it? It's been the longest half ever. Yeah, it hasn't. And of course, we're sat with Sunderland fans, so we're kind of just praying we don't lose, really. But we haven't conceded, which is oh. pretty amazing, really, because we have been under the cosh, haven't we? Yeah. yeah, we really have been quite under the well, cosh. We've had a couple of shots. Uh... We've had a few chances and we nearly scored. Uh, you know, to be honest, he just went past the post there, but Sunderland have had loads of chances, hit the bar, Max has pulled a wonder save off, but we just keep giving the ball away and it's a problem, isn't it, all it the time. We cannot, Blackpool cannot retain the ball, I don't know what it is. You watch Sunderland, play it around, play it from the back, play it up through the middle, get to the, you know, get a shot in. Blackpool, Blackpool are struggling to get over the halfway line all the time and it's... Uh, about a rocket at half time, I'm sure. Something needs to be done and I don't know what it is, but... 
the way we're playing football at the moment, it's suicide football, and, and, and the defence sometimes give the ball away, it's so sloppy, and right on the edge of the box, we've given it away a few times, it's been, it's been terrifying. Well, they haven't scored, so, you no, know, they're not Norwich, are they? No, no, they're not. So, who knows, but... Uh, Let's hope, it's a bit, let's hope it's just a better half than that, because that was quite painful, wasn't it? It was a long, long Very half. long, yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Jane and I have come as a guest of British Glada. Just tell us a little bit about it, Sean. Uh, it was just all the sort of we've interested in. Um, clothing, especially football, casual culture. A um, good friend of mine, Goldie, has got a real passion for it. And um, I've been talking about it a lot previously. Lockdown seemed the perfect opportunity, so... We just, um, yeah, stopped talking about it, put a few quid in, got some t-shirts and uh, yeah, it's going really, really well. Met some, some good people like yourself, um, lots of fans from other clubs. So just tell people what exactly is Pretty Squad uh, I mean, the, the direct translation is, uh, it means casual in Swedish. So it's, it was inspired by um, Goldie's travels watching England over the years. And uh, it's essentially a, a casual terrace wear brand. Um, bit of a sort of uh, kickback against a lot of the, uh, the expensive generic brands such as Stone Island, CP, which you totally understand they have a place, but there is, we just felt there was a market for a, a fairly priced independent uh, brand and um, yeah, people have really embraced it, it's been good. Well, it's cool stuff, the only thing we can say, the hats are a bit unlucky. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. We, we, we do bad luck, don't worry about that. So, if people want to visit your website, how, how, how do you find yeah, it? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. It's um, if you put uh, at FDR into Twitter, we'll, you'll find stuff. Which I'm oh, Adam here does the, uh, the social media, um, and uh, yeah, www.fritzglader.co.uk, which not the easiest to spell, but you'll find it. I'll put all the links on under Magic. Project. All right, thanks a lot. Happy days. Uh, thanks very and much. Great, for great to have you here, Lee. It's really good. All right, I listen. love Jane's uh, the stuff Jane does, and really enjoy reading it. So. Nice right, to meet you. you. Thank you very much. It's been a great night nice. so far. Right, coming out for the second half. We need a better performance this second half. That was pretty scary. Right, what can you do this time? Can you do it again? We can hear you, Blackpool fans, halfway line. We can hear you. You sound amazing. Right, another corner to Blackpool, putting a bit of pressure on. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, great save. gone and at the moment it's been it's been pretty much all Blackpool have been playing really really well. Kenny Dougal has taken some great corners after the fiasco in the first half. Which is now right, Blackpool yet another free kick to withstand. They put the ball in the in the net as well, so we got away with it a bit here. So can we totally get away with it? Or are they gonna punish us? Go on, Colby, go on, go on, go on. Yes. Give over! Give over! It's a corner. Corners we've had this second half, but we're just really all over them. But just can't make them pay. From Blackpool, get a goal. Can we score one? It's like pulling teeth out trying to get a goal. One ball in. No. Just... Yeah. Oh, Sundal coming again now. 
Oh, well played. Chance here for Sunderland. Oh. Uh, that's about right, four minutes for the subs and everything. There's not been a lot of stoppages in this half. Right, Sunderland coming forward. Coming forward again, Sunderland here. Chance here, good play from Sunderland. Is he going to get a ball? Is he going to get it in? He's still got it. Ball coming across. But Sunderland nearly got the winner there in extra time, nearly. Maxwell, unbelievable save. Truly just unbelievable, breathtaking save. I don't know how he saved it. It's got to be almost time, ref. It's got to be almost time, folks. This is a late drama, late drama at the Stadium of Light. Good corner in. No. Time, surely. There's a little sting in the back, tail here. Coming in. Still got the ball, Sunderland. Help him! He's still got the ball. That's it. Blackpool fans, you've been amazing. Honestly, we have heard you. Uh, we're on the halfway line and we can hear you loud and clear. You've done us proud tonight, Blackpool. Well play Blackpool! Play! Well, we came to Sunderland, we've been in a private box. We just I had that feeling we were gonna have to suffer it at the end of the game, but uh, no, they're they're all they're all quite humble in there because they were pretty poor second half and they know it and they know we should have won. We should have won. Hey, we had enough you? chances, we had enough of the game, we were all over them really. They were doing what we were doing first half, which just kept giving the ball away, didn't they? They just turned into us and then made us look quite good because we kept getting the ball, yeah. but it was only because they were giving us the ball, really. Yeah. But Ger although, we, to be fair, we were fighting for it more. We did look a lot hungrier second yeah. half. Maxi pulled off a, an absolute wonder save at yeah, the end. Yeah, Maxwell, I, I, honestly, they must hate him here because the last time in, in, in lockdown we played here, he pulled about four or five wonder saves off, didn't he? He's he, he just got the hoodoo over Sunderland and they say they just they can't, can't beat they us. They can't beat us, man. They, ju they just can't beat us, but... But um, it was, uh, you know, Jerry Yates was unlucky. It was a great, you know, chip the keeper. And now he just managed to tip it over the bar. And Corbin, who really, he did, he, he did everything, didn't he? He looked good when he came he on. He beat yeah. the left back all ends up. He run into the box and all he had to do was put it square. And he just put it straight to the keeper's hands. And I think that was the moment there where you knew we weren't going to score. But... Uh, Jane was convinced that Sunderland were not going to score. No, absolutely no, because their heads have dropped completely <laughs> and their fans start turning on them and they get on their backs and they yeah. get frustrated yeah. and, and, and that does us a favour and we got stronger from that and they, their heads dropped and you just knew they weren't going to score yeah. when, when the fans turned. I've got to say, right, I don't know how many fans Blackpool brought and you're right tucked up in the top corner, but honestly, you could hear you the whole game and we're right in the middle of the Sunderland fans and it was, I know you were singing, it's just like a is this like a lot? is this just a lot? Library or whatever, and it is honestly, this a library? yeah, is this a library? And it, it really was a library. It was, uh, yeah, it was. They did make a but noise, they can't be didn't they? Insulting because they've been brilliant hosts. Yeah, no, they've been great. But I, can't, I, I was surprised at how um, quiet that they were. But they were loud, weren't they? When they were appealing things or you know cheering them on. Obviously, they were, it was or loud. Sighing then. or complaining. Yeah, yeah, whatever they were doing, it was a loud collective noise, wasn't it? But yeah, uh, yeah it was, uh, it was great. Better second half. Uh, yeah, happy with that. Very happy with the point here. Yeah, it's, it's and at least we haven't day. lost four on a bounce, which is something I really didn't want to do. And I, I can't remember the last time that you know that Blackpool um, no, lost four on a bounce. And as Jane was saying, you know, we were better at Millwall than we were at Rotherham. We were better against Norwich City uh, than we were against uh, Millwall, and we were better tonight. Well, second half in particular, we were. That's probably the best second half performance I've seen from Blackpool in a long time. We were, we were just superb, weren't we? We're getting there. We are getting there. Yeah, it gives you a bit of hope, doesn't it? So yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. We haven't seen the table yet, but uh, hope you enjoy this vlog. Right, so what's your names? Aaron. Dom. Oliver. What do you think of the game? Um, Power from Sunderland. Yeah. First half, we're okay. Yeah. Second half, terrible for us. Right. I think Dominic. Same as you. Yeah. Same as you. What's the problem, do you think, at the moment with Sunderland? Um, Why is it not just quite right? Not asking for the ball. Um, we needed more movement in the midfield. Right. We kept on playing out from the back. 
and it just weren't working. All yeah. the strikers are injured, Ellis yeah? Sims and Ross Stewart are both injured. Yeah. Do you like Ellis Sims? Do you like him? Yeah, I do. Because we loved him at Blackpool. We actually yeah. loved him. He's one of our favourite players. So how do you reckon you're going to go on this season, then? Um, I think we'll try and fight for playoffs, I think. Playoffs, yeah? Yeah. 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 Definitely. All right, same for you? Yeah. All right, well, best of luck. Uh, good luck for the season. Also, we've just got to mention our our uh, match sponsors, who are Tangerine Hotels. Do, you know, do the advert for it now. If your team are playing Blackpool and you're thinking of making a weekend of it, then this is the hotel for you. It caters specifically for football fans. They've got a fantastic sports bar showing Sky Sports TV and BT Sports. You get a great breakfast, and it's only a short walk away from the ground. So to book, call them on 01253 790 909, or visit their website tangerinehotels.co.uk. UK or the Facebook page which we're just down there. And Sunderland fans, if you want to come to Blackpool for New Year, I'm sure Tangerine Hotels will be happy to put you up as well. Yeah. They welcome groups of football fans, don't they? And Sunderland fans also keep a look out for our football tourist guide to Sunderland. We've had a great day today. It's been absolutely brilliant. So I'm, I'm sure you're going to enjoy that. I'll look out for my blog as well. Pop that details yeah. down there. I'll be doing a football <coughs> tourist guide, a written version of the football tourist yeah. guide to Sunderland that will be appearing shortly. As well. so, Sunderland is absolutely lovely. Yeah, we've really loved it, haven't we? The yeah, we've had a dead, lovely day. Dead friendly people and just a really nice place. And there's a lot Lots going on do. in Sunderland, a lot of improvements going on in Sunderland. It was all nice around the town centre. It's, it's really lovely. And uh, yeah, it was a pleasure to come here, wasn't it? Yeah. Look yeah. forward to coming back already. All right, so see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. Yep. Best team yeah. second half, weren't we? Yeah, indeed we did, yeah. Have a, have a safe journey home. Yeah. All right, see you later. See you.